yeah, we just want to do some stage setting to start out with. Um, we we're, we're uh, been testing out some uh, XR app ideas this weekend. Testing out, sorry, yeah, uh, testing out um, virtual reality, uh, augmented reality, and uh, we just wanted to set the stage here. Um, so the Apple Vision Pro was released recently. You probably have seen it. And uh, we think that sort of this is a starting gun for XR developers to start creating mainstream applications. Um, apps like Pokemon Go have uh, really dedicated user bases that um, show that consumers will uh, engage with XR apps if they are sufficiently uh, engaging. Um, we also believe that the future will have uh, more web-based 3D. Uh, products like Speckle show that you can reproduce high pr uh, fidelity uh, BIM models uh, in a web browser sort of very seamlessly now. And uh, we believe that, you know, the success of like text and images and video online uh, that we'll also see uh, 3D engagement soon. Uh, we also believe that in the future um, there'll be more, uh, we'll hold more community engagement through 3D. Uh, social media has shown that uh, the public can make their opinions known uh, and shape public discussions uh, through social media. So with all that stage setting, we introduce uh, Tender. Uh, Tender is a uh, consumer-facing XR concept uh, that allows you to view buildings uh, that could be built in your area and swipe left or right on them uh, <laughs> to show stakeholders uh, what you think of potential designs. Um, so we imagine that this could be through a, uh, a headset that people might all be walking around with uh, on the street one day, or uh, uh, just with your phone with the AR viewer. Uh, we base this on a, a, a generative design model in Rhino and Grasshopper using uh, maps uh, from Satopo, uh, one of the speakers this weekend. And uh, we stream this all to Speckle and uh, take it in uh, through a connector in Unity and uh, allow that to sort of build our uh, VR app. So this is our uh, uh, app uh, canvas in Unity showing uh, our geometry streamed from Satopo and our different uh, building concepts coming in from Speckle. Uh, and uh, our sort of uh, proof of concept working in action uh, here we have uh, Jonas working on the generative design side, streaming in uh, designs, and James uh, looking at designs and uh, saying, yes, I like that one, or no, I don't like that, on, uh, that one. Uh, so, and this is sort of uh, letting their voice be known to the stakeholders on the project. Uh, that's it. Um, Do you want to start? Uh, okay, I can start. Uh, that's your whole team, team, the three people? Yeah. Or, yeah, okay. Uh, so, so the idea is this to have kind of interface for new projects mm -hmm. and maybe basically all the stakeholders involved in the project. Uh, also kind of all the citizens in the area, mm -hmm. uh, etc. cetera, to, to have an easy way to get feedback fast feedback uh, as widely as possible yeah uh, and what happens then after that um, well I think that uh, we we've uh, been learning a lot about unity and how to uh, develop the interactions and stuff but uh, we, we wanted to have like a be able to like sort of track um, all of the scores for different designs and uh, you know you have a lot of likes on Instagram and that feeds it to the top of the algorithm and we would hope that you know different sites in the um, city would be able to have like uh, the top liked proposals and uh, some of these would be generated by uh, generative design to provide like a, a sort of wealth of different um, solutions but uh, these could also be um, submissions from local architects uh, to for their suggestions and it would allow sort of a, a site owner or a developer to know okay well this is what the public would like to engage with. I mean, they might not always be right, right? You know, <laughs> the consumer isn't always right, but it, I think it uh, gives a space for, for them to show what they're interested in, because you might be interested or surprised by what the public think of, uh, you know, what we build. Mm. Could this also be a kind of pulse for existing buildings where you get an idea of what, 
what people actually yeah. feel uh, about. Yeah, it could be. It could be too. Sort of, uh, we hadn't we thought of more about like the tender process and future buildings, but yes, it could totally be something. <laughs> you review current buildings, like oh, this one is uh, my favorite, and this one maybe not so much. Thanks for a very creative presentation and idea. You say it's uh, uh, consumer based, and who do you reckon will use this? Any of us? Uh, anyone? Or have you talked about the target group for this? Um, well, I think that there's uh, actually like a lot of people in local communities who get really um, excited about, or no, maybe not excited, but uh, get really into like projects that are, are built in their area. You know, there's mm -hmm. this um, concept online these days of NIMBYs versus YIMBYs, like people who want less buildings and people who want more buildings. And I think uh, providing like a 3D platform for these debates is uh, maybe a space that people could uh, actually see the the uh, substance of the proposals more than just maybe some renderings or something. Uh, so yeah, it would be um, yeah, just for the average consumer. Okay. I think, uh, yeah. And you're serious about swiping with a... <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. it's okay. a bit of a gimmick, but uh, okay. yeah, we... we um, uh, yeah, it could be a different sort of interaction or uh <laughs> focus. Okay, thank you. Super cool. Yeah, really. I love the fact that you guys just come together here, you know, crack your heads at a problem. And uh, and this can really add insight, not only for that, but also for formal tender processes, right? They, I haven't heard you speak so much about that use case, but also super relevant, just having uh, that. So how does the, how would this scale? Uh, I've worked a lot with Speckle, and, mm. you know, data transfer can take a little bit of time. Mm. Uh, so in this regard, you would have people in near real time needing to see the building. Mm. Uh, how does it scale? Um, not sure in, in what uh, way you mean, if you, if you could elaborate. How long did it take for that visualization to go through from your rhinoceros drawing oh, through, yeah. through Speckle? Uh, it takes a couple of seconds to upload. Eight seconds okay. to upload and um, download is, yeah. It can take a little bit of time. I mean, yeah, you might okay. have to find a way to make the models more lightweight. Um, yeah. Maybe it could be more like massing at first instead of exactly high fidelity BIM models. Yeah, super interesting. 